Hello everyone, damn it, be right back. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. This is Benetrio. Northern Pass gets us a bunch of stuff, including a life bottle, which I'll actually never need. Well, I can't say that. During my playthrough, uh, getting up to this point, obviously, um, because I was not fighting every enemy that I could, and because I was sort of taking shortcuts and shit, I ended up, oh my god, that's fucking Luke. I ended up dying, like, or I, ha I didn't actually get a game over, but a lot of my party members died. Straight up, be right back. So because that they started uh, dying, I was, <sighs> damn it, be right back. So because they started dying, I ended up using, actu like, actually using my life bottles and shit. So I was like, really concerned that I couldn't, I wasn't able to beat the game um, with my party. And like, people were like dying left and right. I wasn't keeping everyone alive the whole battle. Like, it was really discouraging. Um, but I did end up, you know, beating the game, obviously. Like, at a certain point, like, my level was overpowering the enemies, and it stopped being a problem. Wait, there's only two of you. Don't go comparing me to some pathetic bandit. And at this point, Tyr is, like, done with him. Yes, you might upset the bandits. Hey! Bitch. <laughs> we lost our way and wound up here. Who are you? I'm a coachman. One of the wheels on my coach started acting up. We lost our drinking water when the junk fell off. So I came here to draw some more. Makes sense. The coach, perfect. Do you go to the capital? Yeah, that's my last stop. Let's hit your It's ride. nighttime, why are you even still going places? Yes, we don't know this area very well. Would that be all right with you? In the capital, it'll be $12,000 a piece. Got enough on you? That's expensive. That's fucked up. Really? Sounds cheap to me. My dad will take care of it when we get to the capital. That's not pretty. I need payment in advance. You know, we're stuck out here. You could at least help. Take this. That's some fucked up shit. I mean, business is business, I guess, but fuck, man. Wow. This is some gem. All right. Pop aboard. Uh, you got some nice stuff. Now I don't have to get my shoes all dirty. That's some fucked up shit, Luke. That's some fucked up shit. Like, how dare you, first off. All right, so anyway, there's another uh, chest here. And I'm going to take a minute to save, so I'll be right back. Again, back. God, that took a while. I don't. Sometimes it's just. Yeah, I'm ready to go. There's no real reason to stay here unless you want to grind the enemies, and they're weak. There's no point. I also don't want to get too strong, and this is the only time I ever hear me say that. Uh, specifically because the more levels you get early on, the uh, harder it is to become stronger later. I don't know how to explain it without sort of spoiling the system that they're going to be explaining later. But, virtually, there's a way of increasing your stats when you level up. If you don't have the system in place, you can't get those stats. So, I don't want to level up too much, because that would spoil me getting the extra stats. See, they have a... They have a... I'll do my best, and Luke is dead. <laughs> I love Tears' little bobble. Oh my god. This game was very cinematic for a fucking PS2 game. I mean, I'm not talking like Final Fantasy levels uh, cinematic, but... What a dick. That's a lot of terminology none of you are going to understand. I mean, you'll eventually get it, but still. There goes the bridge. So I assume that they did that to avoid the explosion that was about to happen when they ran into the bridge, but... Whoa, that was cool! Wow. That's Malkuth's newest land dreadnought, the Tartarus. It's the newest one? That's interesting. What's the Malkuth military doing hanging around here? What do you mean? Of course they're here. There's been no end to the rumors that Kim Lasuk is going to... So yeah, we're in the wrong country. <laughs> they tighten security in this area. Wait a minute. This isn't Kim Lasuk? What are you talking about? This is the Malkuth Empire. West Rubnica Plains. Whoops! Hey, Ron, I thought this coach was headed for the capital, Batical. No, Grand Copa, capital of Malta. We are going the wrong way. Isn't it wonderful? Hmm, I was mistaken. How can you be so calm about it? How could you make a mistake like that? I didn't recognize the area. 
What's your excuse? Uh -huh. I've been confined to the manor. I've never been outside. How the hell should I have known? You're sure acting strange. Ish? You too, Kim Laskin? <laughs> no, we're from Malkuth. We have business in Batacol. We were on our way there. Talk about bald faced. Shut up, Luke. That's the other direction, then. Yep. If you're going to Kim Laskin, you should have taken the road south rather than crossing the bridge. Mind you, with that bridge out, you can't go back now. Whoops. Are you serious? Now what do we do? We're passing through and gave to the east on the way to Grand Kokma. What do you two want to do? I want to, to die. Kokma, we'll just wind up farther away. Let's stop in and gave and think about how to get back to Kim Laska. Let's uh Let's walk to Engave, shall we? We'll walk to Engave and see the sights along the way. There's Engave two specific reasons I want to do this. Take care. I did get lost on my first picture, I'll give you that. Um, can you, do you mind? <laughs> Whoever you are. There's a guy that's been going around on a fucking motorcycle, tearing up, like, the road and shit, and he's just so loud, and it wakes us up at, like, three in the morning sometimes. It's not pleasant. Anyway, we need to go east. We're actually already facing east, so that's... Nice. But, uh, Roper. God damn it. Well, new enemy. Be careful, Green Roper. I know, I know. Uh, he's a little stronger than the enemies we fought in the, uh, Tataru Valley. But again, if he doesn't get a chance to attack, there's nothing he can do. Done and done. I learned Critical Guard. Because I'm level 4, I think. It must be. God, that loading time is not good. <laughs> Yeah, I am playing this on a PS2, by the way. I was thinking about doing an emulator, specifically because I could, like, save state in case bad things happened or anything like that, but, eh, there's the guy again. I hate him. Hate him more than I hate Luke right now. Yeah, time to eat. So, anyway, this is the reason why I wanted to stop. Uh, one, we get a little points, and if you haven't played a Tales game, they're virtually RPG dating simulators. <laughs> I can't even joke about that. It's just pretty much how they are. They follow the same rules, at least. Um, so this gets me a little more points with tier, and gives us uh, ingredients for our rice balls, which is nice. First off, balls of rice are fucking delicious, and you're a terrible human being. Yeah, ask for more information. We're going to get a lot of recipes on our journey. I'll hopefully be able to remember where to get them all, because there are a fuck ton of them. Ooh, I almost unplugged the TV. My bad. Yep. It's a lot of stuff that you gotta pay attention to, but it's easy. <laughs> Luke, you're not one to talk. Shut the fuck up. At any rate, now that we have uh, knowledge on cooking, we can pretty much cook whenever the hell we need to. The shortcut will appear. Uh, we're a little bit near the fucking... That's a new enemy, but I'll, I'll meet up with them later. We will see them a lot. I want to go to Engave, so I want to follow this road. Uh, that's a Fiola. There you go, there's Engave. So, at any rate, uh, cooking is really helpful, especially when you don't want to spend money for gels. Gels are kind of expensive. Actually, cooking is a little bit more expensive, unless, like, you're going for specific foodstuffs. Like... I, rice is the only thing you need for rice balls, so buying just rice is fine. There you go. Now you can make fucking rice balls. It's a lot easier. The rest of it, not so much. <laughs> it takes a, It's a little more complicated than that for everything else, but it does work out well, uh, especially when you need extra healing or, you know, you don't want to do healing items, especially unless you need it for battle. There are a lot of good things about it, a lot of bad things this about it. This being Gabe. Huh? You folks traveling on foot? That I am. You got a problem with that? No, I just mean with the bandits and monsters and all, most people come by goat. Could I ask you something? How can we get from here to Kim Laska? I heard Rotelro Bridge is out, so you'd have to head to the Kaitsua checkpoint in the south. Wonderful. Thank you. No problem. Bye. A checkpoint. We won't be able to get through without passports. This could be a problem. It'll be fine. If I say I'm Duke Favre's or they'll imprison us. In no time. Whatever. But right now, I want to check this place out. This is my first time in a city. It's a village. A city? Well, I suppose we do need to prepare a bit before we leave. Let's stay the night here. Okay, Tyr. I trust you. With my life. Um... Oh, God. Just... 
<laughs> there is a huge difference between beginning of the game uh, Luke and end game Luke. Um, so it's like really, really depressing to like <laughs> play this part of the game sometimes. Yeah, suck it up, buddy. Yeah, go fucking sleep outside, you punk-ass bitch. Yeah, seriously, shut the fuck up, Luke. Too bad. That's like eight hours from now. Okay. Now we can talk to people, explore the village. There's a few things that we can um, actually do here. One is to talk to the grocers, because buying food is important. Wow, these apples look good. Sir, you need to pay. Yeah, like, come on. Why do I have to pay? You can't just take a store's products without paying. But the manor pays for everything all at once. Oh, wait, this is Malkuth. Yeah, like, this is how bad Luke is. Oh well. Nah, we're good. Said anything about not paying. So, uh, how does this work? Alright, let's explain how shops work. I can't believe he doesn't know how to shop at a store. Yeah, Luke is really bad. Nope, just Luke. Just Luke. Anyway, so let's uh, take a look. The only thing we really need here is engraved rice. Um, we can't buy a lot of it, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't even suggest buying a lot of it, actually. Uh, let me get like five units. That seems fine for now. Uh, I am going to sell my life bottles, because I won't need them for a while. Uh, I will eventually, obviously, but now I can buy a little bit more rice. Three, yeah, three is fine. That's half of the shit I can buy anyway, so that's pretty good. Uh, nothing I really care about. Yeah, stealing is bad. I, I fully understand, buddy. Oh, there's trouble, Bruin. Every last scrap of food in the storehouse has been stolen. This has happened time and time again since those fires of more. You Sounds like California right now. hiding out up there and have started to come here looking for food? Or it could be the work of the Dark Wings, too! It's just food. Would those Dark Wings guys really bother to steal that? That's- is he how insensitive he is? It's just ridiculous. In this village, food is the most valuable thing there is! Oh, come on. So someone stole it. Just go buy some more. What? We break our backs all year tending these fields. Hey, I just heard Kelly's place got hit by a food thief too. It's you. So, you didn't just steal from me, you were at it over here too, huh? Hey, I didn't steal. Technically, I paid what? for it. You're the one who raided my storehouse? They say the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Yeah, but in this case, that is not entirely true. You tried to steal an apple from me. That's it. Now I'm taking you to the authority. Great. Letting Luke get arrested here might actually do him some good. Thanks, Tyr. You're the best. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get arrested. Oh well, that's fine. This is gonna be a little bit longer of an episode. I didn't realize how many cutscenes there were, but maybe the battles getting cut out would be better. This is kind of a funny scene, actually. <laughs> I like how Luke has his, uh, Tyr has his sword. We've got an important guest from the military here. Calm down. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I like that he's swinging. Caught we caught the guy stealing food. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Rose, this guy may be with the dark wing. He's got to be responsible. Oh, like, come on, that's that, that's pretty bad, guys. I'm telling you, people, I'm not your damn thief. Do I look like I'm going hungry to you? My, my, what a lively boy. Let's all just settle down first, all right? Sure, Rose. Sure. Yes, please do. Colonel. Who the hell are you? I'm Colonel Jade Kirk. Jade is... Probably... 
the most interesting character in the Luke. entire game. Luke, what's your problem? Have you forgotten? This is enemy territory. Your father, Duke Fabra, is one of Malkuth's greatest enemies. Don't use your name so casually. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't yes. know that? There are plenty of people here who've had family killed by your father. You don't want any unnecessary trouble, do you? Is something wrong? Nope, just killing him. Apologies, Colonel. He's Luke. I'm Tyr. We were headed for Chesedonia, but we boarded the wrong coach and wound up here. Oh. So you're with this man suspected of being with the Dark Wings? Yeah, it's it's not good. We're not with the Dark Wings. The Malkuth military forced the real Dark Wings to the other side of Rotelbro Bridge. Ah, I see. So you were on that coach from earlier. That is correct. What is all this about, Colonel? Just as Tyr said, a group of bandits thought to be the Dark Wings fled Fort Kimlosta. I can assure you that these two are not with them. They don't appear to be mere food thieves either. I on. Master I. I love him. Great guy. I was a bit curious, so I investigated the food storehouse. I found this in a corner of the room. It's air. <laughs> this is fur from the I love I love Tails doing that shit every time. Yes, a cheagle is what probably raided your food stores. See, I told you I wasn't a thief. But you did eat that apple before paying. Yeah, you did, buddy. You need to learn not to do things that'll make you look suspicious. How was I supposed to know? I didn't know I had to pay. Well, sounds like that. Yeah, just imagine that. I think you are. Oof, whoa. We had some slowdown again. I'm sorry. With all the burglaries lately, I've been a little on edge. Sorry for accusing you. Yeah, go fuck I'm yourself. I'm sorry I made the situation worse. That's very true. Do you think you could forgive them, boy? I'm not a bull. I'm sorry. Luke, could we let bygones be bygones? I don't think he knows that word. Yeah, whatever. Glad to hear it. I'll think of a way to stop the Cheagles. So all of you just go on home for today. Wonderful, thank you, Rose. Can we leave? Thank you. Bye, Ion. Ion's great. He's a great character. There's a lot of really great characters. I mean, see, like, even, even Rose. Where's Phone Master Ion here? Phone Master Ion? The Supreme Leader of the Order of Lorelei. Hey, wait a minute. I heard Ion was missing. Yeah, from Van. <laughs> Master Van said Ding. he was returning home to look for him. Really? That's news to me. I wonder what's going on. He didn't look like he was being held captive. Oh, I don't Master. know either, man. Stop. They seem to be in the middle of an important discussion. Let's come back tomorrow. Why do I have to follow your orders? Because you suck, and you don't know any better, you stupid shit. God damn it. It's At this point, I'm just going to be like, Luke gets better. Luke gets better. Like, in my head, until like, it actually happens, because holy crap, he's so stupid. Yeah, just deal with it. Deal. There is a bunch of stuff I need to do around the... Where is this? In Gave, the village? Have you seen the person I was with? A boy, pretty short, kind of out of it. Thank you. Sorry, I was away from the inn for a little while. Honestly, that Ion, where did he run off to? He's dead. Ion? You mean Phone Master Ion? If you're looking for Ion, he was over at Rose's place. Really? Thank you. Hey, wait a second. What's the phone master doing here? I heard he was missing. Yeah, about that. Huh? Are there rumors like that floating around? I have to tell Ion. You should. Goodbye. Hey. She didn't answer my question. Yes, but she looks like a phone master guardian, so I assume Ion's journey is officially recognized by the Order of Lorelei. All right, then. A phone master guardian? They're Ion's personal guard, a special force within the Oracle Knights. They accompany him on all official business. Sounds like a really good person. Soldiers, huh? Ding. What was up with Ion being missing? I'm gonna be so mad if that was just a mistake. And by the way, I think like the total um Oh my god, this episode's gonna be so long. I could have just saved. I could have just dealt with it and been like, hey, next time we'll fucking view another goddamn skit. There's like 45 of them early game that happen like back to back. Anytime that you do stuff. So, unfortunately, uh, there's going to be 
an influx of them. Later on, they get really interesting with numerous characters joining in and stuff. So it's a lot more, you know, spaced out, and they don't seem as annoying or overblown or every 10 seconds, which is wonderful. Yeah, you are selfish. You are shit. You are a shit. Anyway, that's all for this edition of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. This has been Ryu. Next time, we'll go figure out what the fuck's up with Ion. And maybe Jade. This is EXPN Ryu signing out. See you later. Bye.